Hey folks, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the JVC GZ E200. This is a portable camcorder which sells for under 100 bucks, so it's fairly inexpensive. And JVC has a pretty good legacy of producing quality cameras and camcorders over the years. Uh, it's a company based in Japan, uh, but this is one of their more budget oriented models. It's a completely digital formatted uh, camcorder as you would expect here in 2016 and takes a full sized SD card and records up to 1080p full HD resolution. So it doesn't go all the way up to 2K or 4K, but then again, it's very low cost. So the bigger question here is whether or not it still performs as well as more expensive models on the market. It's part of the HD EVERIO series, which again is more of the lower end uh, segment of uh, JVC's current line of camcorders. It does have a fairly generous 3-inch touchscreen panel, which uses a resistive screen, allows you to still see what's going on when you're recording, and again has a kind of a glossy piano black surface in terms of the overall look and finish. So this is what the packaging is like. You can see it also comes in a few other color iterations. It includes the battery on board here as well, um, and there's some serial numbers across the sides as well as support for SDXC cards. Uh, it talks about system requirements for you know installation for the software, and that's basically it. So inside here, there's access to instruction guides as well as user manuals, software CDs, and warranty guides as well. And there's also access to the camera itself. We'll take a closer look at this in a moment. Uh, there's also the battery, which we'll also check out small battery, so you have to probably recharge this after you use it for, I would say, uh, three to four hours of continuous recording, uh, plus or minus after you start using it for a while. So um, about average for a small kind of camcorder of this caliber. There's also an AV cable that you can use to plug into a television, although it doesn't use, you know, HDMI. Uh, at least the HDMI cable isn't included, nor is there a VGA cable. So pretty standard stuff. There's also a few adapters for mounting it onto a tripod and also a cable using mini USB for connecting to a Mac or a PC for syncing data directly if you don't want to remove the uh, SD card yourself. So checking out the design of this uh, camcorder next, again, it's fairly sleek and stylish as far as the design is concerned. It's made out of of, uh, plastic completely. Even the chrome accents here are just made out of plastic, so it is quite lightweight. After popping in the battery onto the back, you can see that it still remains really slim and also portable. It doesn't protrude too much from the unit, which is nice to see. And if we check out a few other specs of this, and there's actually a quick guide over here tells you about the 1080p resolution. It also has this uh, low lux or a bright low light mode that promises to deliver still good quality even you know if you're in the dark, which is rather impressive. Audio record, auto record if it uh, detects emotion, so that's a nice feature to have. There is time lapse on here as well, which is uh, impressive again at this price point. 40 times optical zoom, which is uh, pretty average for one of these camcorders in this price range. There is an advanced uh, image stabilizer on board as well for images, intelligent audio if you want to record, as well as take images. Uh, that is also supported on here. So on the side here, you have a bit more of an ad about what the unit is capable of. It has this slightly sparkly texture, as you can see, which is kind of commonplace in a lot of these camcorders as well as phones that you might find as uh, imported or produced at least or designed at least in Japan. The top here also features the lens, which is uh, closed up here to protect it. You can see a bit more of a specs as far as how the optical lens uh, is crafted and the aperture, so on and so forth. The other side features a cover for the proprietary charger uh, that it takes, as well as uh, it seems like a cover that allows you to open up the lens. And below here we have another grip which I can open up to access the uh, full-size SD card for plugging in the memory. There is a very few, very little uh, memory that's built in by default, so you do need an SD card out of the box. And there's also a tripod mount, a bit of info about this pers this particular camera, releasing the actual uh, battery itself, and opening up you know, this uh, camcorder is a display. So you can see here it has a flush display, although it is resistive as opposed to capacitive, so you have to press a little bit harder, not too crippling nonetheless, and it has a pretty generous size compared to um, other camcorders we've seen in the past at this price range. It does have Dolby's digital stereo creator, so as far as sound on here, it does have stereo mics built in, pretty good. There's also, again, a micro HDMI, but again, this cable isn't included, but it does support output at HD resolution. Mini USB port for syncing, a power on off switch dedicated here, switching between camcorder, video modes, silent, autofocus modes, um, information, AV out using the traditional analog cables, zoom controls in the very top, pretty tactile and responsive, as well as a snapshot key for taking images while you are recording videos or just in the video capturing mode. And here the screen itself can be rotated all the way back 300. Taking a look at the user interface here, again, this uses a resistive touchscreen as opposed to capacitive, but it's not bad. It doesn't have an automatic uh, opener for the lens cover on the top, so you do have to 
process that audit by yourself manually, but otherwise you can see here that the display here actually has a pretty good viewing angle, so it remains very bright and visible even outdoors, and uh, overall it's a pretty good experience. The interface here is quite simple and easy to understand. There's access to dedicated controls for starting a recording. You can also directly view back your recorded video files as well as the photos that you took in with this, and there's a few modes on the very top for you know recording status, uh, as well as the automatic mode is currently being used, so on and so forth. Um, otherwise, we can go through and navigate some of the controls, such as you know, perhaps you know, zooming in and cropping, which shows off automatically on screen there. And again, it has a 40 times optical zoom, which is indeed very impressive. Um, that process, process works quite well, and it uh, automatically focuses even as you're recording. So throughout a shot, it's going to be continuously recording and trying to remain as sharp as possible, which is great, especially for people that are just picking this up for, qui for quick point and shoot purposes. So if we tap on the menu over here, we can also you know change things such as a smile detection, you know start to record after you know using a certain effect, for instance, such as uh, filters, as well as uh, creating different borders. So for instance, here you can see a bit of uh, fireworks coming up on screen, heart animations, a click on anima animation, borders, and so some of these more fun things that you can play around with if you want to. Um, otherwise, if we check out a few other kind of things, there's a battery status as well as the SD card recording, or if you're using the internal memory status on the very top as well. So again, it's a resistive screen, so not quite as responsive as the capacitive one. Um, and uh, it seems like we can also tap on, again, small detection on or off. Uh, so we can change that to on so that whenever it uh, detects a smile, it's going to capture a shot automatically. And it uh, works actually fairly well for that, which, we're, which, which, which we'll please uh, to actually see. So we're going to do a quick sample of uh, a video of a series of video clips that we capture with this uh, camera next to give you guys a quick look at the experience you can get out of this uh, video camcorder. As shown from those uh, sample clips, your images are going to be quite sharp, although the colors are a little bit muted and on the washed outside. Uh, all in all, those shots are quite clean looking. They're also crisp, which is nice. And at this price point, I think this is one of the better you know, point and shoot uh, video camcorders I've actually seen. Sound is also quite impressive thanks to the use of stereo speakers in the front. And that 40 times optical zoom is also going to be great if you're looking for you know wider shots as well as a zoomed in shots. Perhaps if you're a sports enthusiast going to stadiums, this would be a good application. You can check out more details about this in terms of performance and installed testing that we perform in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the JVC.